What's up everybody? I wanted to do a quick video today to share with you a few changes coming to Travis Media. So hang on. Hey, what's up everybody? Recording here from Neg's Head, North Carolina, the day before Hurricane Dorian's supposed to hit. Doesn't look like a hurricane's on the way. Check it out. here at the beach for one week and uh, we're all pumped up about it excited about it and uh, two days into it we get evacuated because of the hurricane Dorian coming up the coast wouldn't really seem like the end of the world except for I didn't opt in for the travel insurance so that's five days unrefunded money down the drain but it's not the end of the world why because as long as there is a lesson in something it's worth it right if something happens in life like this and you get a good lesson out of it, it's a good thing. And the lesson is, always get the travel insurance. If it's offered to you, get it. Especially if it's hurricane season. vacation but it was great nevertheless so before we get started as always if you're into web development coding career advancement conquering life any of that stuff consider subscribing to the channel just hit that button below and then hit the bell to be notified of any new videos as they're released so my reason for this video today is to share with you four changes coming to Travis Media these are not major changes I'm not going anywhere but as time goes on, interests shift and things happen and you just got to kind of go with the flow. So there's going to be four changes. I don't even know if I'd call them changes. Four things I want to discuss happening with Travis Media. So number one, I got a new job. And you may be thinking, hey, wait a minute. Just a couple months ago, you released a video called my first day as a software developer or something like that. What's going on? Well, basically, yeah, I left that job. So I had that job for about five months. A wonderful company, I have nothing to say about them, wonderful people. It's just that this new job is a better fit for me and my family, it's local, blah, blah, blah. So the last job was awesome, this job is just a better fit. So I'm excited about it, it is as much software development as it is DevOps. So DevOps is new to me, I'm not a DevOps guy, I don't really know the tools, but I'm eager to learn and I'm excited for this opportunity. So that leads me to number two. And by the way, I'm going to do a video here in a day or two, actually it's halfway done, about my first day on that job. So if you're interested in that, be sure you subscribe or be sure to check in because that video is going to be released in a couple days. But that leads us to number two and that is that there may be more talk around here about DevOps. So I'm always focused on coding and web development, but I'm also interested in DevOps and you may see that come up on the blog or you may come up on the YouTube channel. And I think it's really important because DevOps is kind of bridging the ops with the developers. And as a developer, you know, you need to know what's going on. You're going to be in a job and there's going to be some DevOps guys running some automation. You're going to push your code. It's going to go through. You're not going to know what's going on. I, I just deploy it and it goes somewhere and it runs some tests and they let me know if it fails or blah, blah, blah. It's good to know what's going on with the DevOps guys. And in my opinion, developers are going to have to know more DevOps as time goes on. I think they're going to, uh, I don't want to say they're going to kind of blend, but I think the roles are going to kind of get more intertwined because things are getting automated. Things are going that direction. So as a developer, it's good to know at least about about the tools and about the philosophy slash culture. So anyway, it's not going to take over my channel. It's not going to take over my blog. I'm still a coder. I'm still a developer, but I want to talk about some of this stuff too. So you may see it come up. All right, number three, and this is the big one. I am ending all of my freelance services. So I have a full-time job, 
That job pays me enough to be comfortable. And I, I'm not the type of guy that just needs more and more money. It does nothing for me. I have enough here to cover the job, the job side of life. Now, as you all know, time is limited. You trade your time for money. You go to work for this amount of time, they pay you this much money, you can't get time back. For me, I want to spend more time with my family, I want to spend more time with friends, traveling, being able to do stuff outside of work. Currently, I work full time and then I have my freelance stuff going on. So I got websites to build, I got websites to manage, I got people saying, hey, this is broke and I just can't do it, okay? I just decided, hey, it's too much. I want my time back. My job is covering my finances, my health insurance, all of that stuff. I don't need any more. I want more time. So I'm gonna be ending all of my freelance services. I'm not gonna build any more websites. I'm not gonna host any more sites. So I'm getting rid of those and passing it on to someone who I think is reliable. And I'm just gonna end that. So I'm gonna devote my time to work. I'm gonna learn what I need to do and I'm gonna enjoy my family. I'm gonna travel and I'm gonna make more videos and I'm gonna blog more because I'm gonna have more time. So that doesn't do anything for you guys. That just, I'm just, that just goes to say, hey, I'm ending my freelance services. I got more free time to do things like this. And that's a perfect segue into number four, which is I'm gonna be redoing completely my website. Completely redoing my website. So there's a couple of things here. Number one, if I'm getting rid of my freelance services, I don't need them all over my site. I got the front page advertising, hey, here's what I can do for your business. I got a portfolio page, I got a services page. If I'm not gonna be freelancing, I wanna take that stuff off of my site and slim it down a little bit. Second, and this has nothing to do with WordPress, it's just the way my site is currently. My site feels kind of bulky, like I got too much stuff going on, I've kind of lost my focus on what I'm doing, so I want to slim it down also. And the third thing, and this is the biggest thing, and I was talking about this today in the Learn to Code Blueprint Slack group, we were talking about blogging and stuff, and I really, I really think there's kind of two types of blogging. There's one type where, like WP Beginner or something, where you do these long tutorials, or you do these long reviews and you really have a lot of great content. Google loves you, SEO loves you, and you kind of make a business out of your blog. And then there's the kind of blog, just like developers do, where they're like, hey, I learned this new skill, I learned this new short code or shortcut or something. Boom, 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 that's what it is. Let me paste it and then they can use, or post it, and then they can use it for future reference or other people can find it on Google. And there's an, an example I used is this guy, uh, FlavioCopes.com, Copus, I don't, I, don't, I don't know how you pronounce it, F-L-A-V-I-O-C-O-P-E-S.com. I get his blog post every week. I think he sends out a newsletter every Tuesday or something. But anyway, he just posts this kind of straight to the point stuff. And it'll be like um, something as simple as like, how to tell if your variable's empty in JavaScript or something like that. And so he dishes out all of this stuff, you know, five, six posts a week. It's a lot and they're all really informative. And I feel like at this stage that that's what I should be doing too because I have these thoughts every day. I learn some new little thing and I wanna blog about it, but I don't wanna do all of that. Keywords and intro and three points and, and all of that. I, I don't wanna to have to write that out so I end up not doing it. But if I can just kind of slim down my blog and be able to just blog a one paragraph post, a two paragraph post, no intro, no pictures, maybe a picture, I don't know. But uh, if I can do that, I think I would blog more and I think I would enjoy blogging more. And what happens to me is I use my blog to reference things in the future. So I type about something I've learned and then two months down the road when that comes up again, I use my blog to figure out how to do that again. That's, that's been a big thing for me, I still do it. So uh, just, just overall, I'd like to slim it down. I'd like to be able to post short blog posts for myself, for my readers and all of that. So, in doing that, I'm gonna be moving my WordPress site to Gatsby. Gatsby JS, I like Gatsby, I really do. At first I didn't, and then I really got into it and I really enjoy it. So I'm in the process now of moving things over to Gatsby, and uh, I, don't, I, I hope to have it done by the end of the month. That's my goal, but I can't promise anything. So that's gonna kind of revamp my love of blogging and not put so much pressure on me to do it because these days my main focus is on YouTube and creating videos like this. So anyway, I think I went way overboard here. Uh, tried to keep it like under five minutes, so maybe around 10 now, who knows? Anyway, make sure you hit that subscribe if this stuff interests you and you wanna see the next video about the new job and you're interested in software development and this new DevOps path that I'm taking. So anyway, have a great week and thanks for watching.